What up? What's good, y'all? Back here on stackbmx.com social media and YouTube channel. Um, Ken South LA. Today we're gonna do an explain and review on the Odyssey utility sprocket. So, like always, uh, we tell you to head over to our YouTube channel if you're on, if you're on one of our other social platforms, and uh, you could have a chance to win a bunch of free stuff. So right now we've hit 2,500 subscribers, so we're giving away a free Stranger Parts package. And then at 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free bicycle. Um, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, uh, turn on our notification bells, and leave us a comment. But hang tight, because later on in this video, I'm gonna tell you all the rules and uh, what to comment. So um, yeah, head over there if you wanna enter. But uh, yeah, back to the sprocket. So this is a very new sprocket. Um, I know you guys are pretty familiar with sprockets and stuff, stuff like that. If you're mom and dad, um, or if you're a rider, or a beginner rider, and you're trying to, you know, I mean, show your parents what what this is and why is this a little bit more expensive than other sprockets. Well, here I am to help you guys out with that. So um, this is a this is a sprocket. It's pretty much um, a gear, and um, this actually um, helps drive your bicycle. So um, on your pedal arms or your crank arms, there's a little sprocket hole which a bolt goes through there or a little pin to hold the sprocket. And then when you pedal, you know, I mean your bicycle, it actually makes the sprocket spin, makes a chain turn, moves back wheel, and uh, makes your bike go. So uh, yeah, this is a sprocket. This is what BMXers call a sprocket. And um, the new, new thing going on right now is uh, having a guard sprocket. So this outside piece is a guard majority of these sprockets are made out of uh, aluminum and it's usually a solid aluminum and a lot of other companies have been dabbling with the plastic guard just like odyssey right here and there's a bunch of cool features why um so the reason why they're dabbling with the plastic and stuff like that is because it makes a sprocket cheaper uh well not cheaper uh more inexpensive and then also too it makes the sprocket a little bit lighter weight so um, that makes it really cool. And then also too, it allows you to remove the sprocket and replace just the, I mean, remove the guard from the sprocket and actually just have to buy a guard um, afterwards. And it significantly uh, lowers the price of actually having to buy a new sprocket. So when Odyssey came out with this utility sprocket, I thought this was really dope, um, mainly because of the design and the aesthetics of it. So yeah, let's kind of get into the aesthetics um, what I noticed off the bat is that this sprocket is actually really, really thick. Um, you can't really tell that how thick it is from a lot of pictures online or anything like that. So that's why I'm here, hooking you guys up with the visuals and um, letting you know what this sprocket is. See how thick it is? It's you know, I mean, about 12 millimeters thick there and um, it's just super, super beefy. So that's the number one thing that I noticed. Um, the second thing is, is that the dudes over there at Odyssey have some really cool graphics and uh, you could definitely tell by the actual graphics on the plastic guard and then they kind of doubled it up with the little graphics on the actual sprocket so these graphics here are laser um, etched onto the sprocket so they put this in the machine and a laser comes down here and it focuses right on that edge and then it goes and uh yeah it just notches it out actually took a little quick look because uh, it kind it's so clean that it actually looks like it's screen printed, but no, nah, it's it's actually laser printed. So um, yeah, my eyes weren't fooling me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that that look everything in general looks really really dope. Uh, just the fonts, um, just having little small detail like this, like the little twenty five tooth, not making it look super crazy, and then using the little o OTX design that they're doing nowadays. Um, I think that looks really cool. Um, also, too, it's got these little uh, Allen wrench uh, or hex head bolts in here, and these are like a tapered um, Allen bolt, so it doesn't have a flat backing. It's actually like, you know, I mean, angled um, to sit flush in this actual guard. So, um, if you're wondering how it bolts up, so if you look at the back side of this thing, it's got uh, holes tapped um, for, for, with threads so that this thing uh, bolts right up. Oh, excuse me. Um, so, um, yeah, I think that looks really, really sick. Um, another thing that I noticed too is that it's got some um, a lot of a lot of meat cut out of the actual sprocket, 
It looks a little bit beefier from the front side just because of the guard kind of makes it look beefy. But if you actually look at it from the back, it looks pretty thin. So um, definitely took a lot of the weight off and stuff like that. And uh, making it super thick allows it to be super strong. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, another thing is, is that there's these little, um, yeah, I mean, milled out sections right here. And they took like a ball end mill um, on a on a CNC machine and they just routed it around and uh, took a little bit more material off of it. Kind of gave it this little I-beam effect on it so that it's still light, but, but strong. So I think that's really sick. Um, looks really cool. And um, yeah, I think they did a really good job by doing that. Um, and if we flip it over around to the back, uh, this here has um, a little bit of a, a chamfer right here. So it, it's a little bit thicker on the back side as well. Um, the sprocket is slightly offset, so that, that kind of helps out. Um, if you look um, really, really close, um, you can't really see this from a lot of pictures and stuff like that. But uh, see how the teeth are actually, it's a little bit thicker on this side than it is on the back side. So I think that's really, really dope. I think if you have like problems with, um, you know, I mean, aligning your sprocket or anything like that, you might be able to throw the guard on the other side. But I'll let you try that out and you know, I mean, see if it works. Another cool thing is that I noticed on the back side of it, it has a recessed uh, crank arm bolt. So this is where the bolt goes into your crank arm and sits a little bit lower than the actual sprocket. Having this thing milled out helps out a lot because um, let's say you're riding an American bottom bracket, which is like the big bottom bracket. Having the bolt and a thick sprocket will push the, the bolt out a lot and that little bolt will actually drag onto that, that bottom bracket, so onto your frame. So I think that's really cool to keep that that away. Um, another thing I noticed, this thing has a really cool anodized finish. So anodizing, basically they stick this in a bath of uh, chemicals and they electrify it and uh, it actually, how do you say, like dyes the actual material. So they do that first. And this one looks like it's um, like slightly polished or something like that. This is a little bit shinier than, than most sprockets. I tried I got some dirty hands or greasy hands. Maybe I'm nervous or something, but yeah, it, it has like a pretty cool look on it. It's uh, really shiny, so I'll try to try to hit it with some light. Show you guys the way. So boom, like right there. Mm. So yeah, I think that's really cool. It looks really really clean. Um, another thing is is that it has these uh, you know, chamfered teeth on it. So I'll try to show you. They're not flat. They're actually chamfered slightly. And uh, what that does is it allows your chain to drop on here very easy. Um, there's a pretty good gap on there so that you can run this with any eighth inch chain from a 410 chain to a 510 chain, a uh, half link chain from any brand. You can run the Shadow Interlock chain. Uh, you could run their Supreme chain as well. And all of them are gonna fit in here. Um, another little slight thing that most people don't notice that I kind of look at, look at and um, on this, this plastic mold, Right here, it's got like a little round, you know, I mean, edge to it. Kind of looks like a like a vert, you know, I mean, a quarter pipe or something like that. If you look at it real tight, so I think that's pretty cool. It looks pretty clean. Um, this actual guard out here is made out of nylon, and this is a uh, stuck in a mold, and they just like stamp them out. Well, pretty much injects, um, you know, I mean, uh, this this uh, material into a, into a hopper, then hopper pushes it into a machine. That m machine jams this, you know, I mean, hot hot plastic into a mold and then they create the mold and this thing pops out and they might have to trim the little edges and stuff like that. So that's how they pump these out real fast. That's how they make it real cheap. Those molds are really expensive so obviously dudes over there dropped a lot of coin to actually make this and uh, you know, it looks pretty sweet. Um, another thing that I noticed is that it comes with the standard 15 16 uh, bore hole. So this will fit one piece cranks. Um, on the one piece cranks, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, it's gonna, it might not work. I actually haven't tried this on one piece cranks, but uh, if you're trying to do that, I'd be really, really, really weary about buying this sprocket. Um, not to deter you from buying this sprocket, but it's so thick that the, the um, race might not thread onto your crank arm um, with yeah. this. What's up, dude? Are you guys fighting? You guys got to go over there and play. be cool, dude. You want to talk to Mopo Man. Uh, go watch your TV, please. You guys are fighting and I don't like it. Can you guys please be cool? Alright, so...
Okay, go over there. I'll talk about it in a second. All right, so those are my boys. Um, Styles is here my, all the time with me. Um, my other boy Eli is here right now. And um, I don't know, they just bump heads just like any little kids. Um, but they kind of you know, run a little bit wild and stuff like that. And uh, sometimes I kind of let them you know, do their own thing and uh, try to figure out themselves and then come back and try to help them out. So, um, yeah, let's get this video done so that I can uh, be a dad and, uh, you know what I mean, help them out and figure out their, their problems and their differences. Um, but, yeah, this is, a like I said, 15, 16 is bore, so it fit one piece, uh, but I'd be worried about using them. Uh, this also fits uh, 24 millimeter cranks. Um, just slide them right on and you don't need any hot washers or anything like that. But if you're riding 22 millimeter cranks, um, it has an extra spacer in here. And then if you're riding like 19 millimeters with, uh, you know, I mean, like a profile crank system or a stock crank, um, there's also a washer in here, so they got you covered. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, overall, um, if you're wondering what to buy, like, if you should buy the sprocket and uh, what style riding uh, it's used for, I'd say it's pretty much for anything. Um, if you're into trails and stuff like that, um, I would say uh, maybe go to the 28 tooth. This sprocket comes in a 25 tooth, the 28 tooth, and then it com also comes in a 30 tooth, but the 30 tooth doesn't come with the guard and it's not available yet. Um, so if you're riding uh, skate parks, stuff like that, um, you want it to be easy pedaling, I'd ride the 25 tooth. If you want to go a little bit faster or you're riding a free coaster, I would say go with the 28. Um, if you're riding trails or want a little bit harder gear ratio, I'd say go up to the 30. Um, but um, it's it's kind of for everything because you could ride this one um, uh, with the sprocket and the guard, or you could take the guard off and ride it for trails and stuff like that and keep it lightweight. So yeah, that's it for the Odyssey Utility Guard Sprocket. Like I said before, we're gonna give you give away some free stuff uh, on our YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on one of our other social uh, platforms, head over to uh, youtube.com forward slash stack DMX and uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, like this video, turn on your notification bells and um, comment, tell us what you like about this video, what you don't like about this video, uh, what we should do in the future to make our videos better, what other products you wanna see on here. And um, yeah, we'll do our best to, to drop those and help you guys out. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for everything. We hope you have a good day and uh, see you next time.